A massive cyber hack hits countries around the world, crippling tens of thousands of computers on Friday. And the vulnerability being used for the attacks appears to be one that was once used by the NSA. Brian Yenis joins us with more details on this very latest attack. Brian, this sounds like some pretty scary stuff. Yeah, hi Liz. This cyber attack is believed to be the biggest of its kind ever recorded. The global attack Friday affecting more than 70 countries, including the U.S., Russia, the U.K., Spain, China, and India. Chillingly, experts say hackers used a cyber attack method stolen from the U.S. government's National Security Agency. Hackers then used this NSA cyber code to spread a virus that infected Windows computer systems with ransomware known as WannaCry. Ransomware is software that enters a computer through spam email. Once in an email, once an email is opened up, it locks up a computer's data and it demands that a user pay a ransom or risk losing their data completely. This is a photo of what showed up on infected computers worldwide. This was taken from a surgery center in northern England. The ransom demanding $300 and then increasing over time to $600. This attack affecting everything from telecommunications industries to governments. FedEx Corporation in the U.S., British hospitals and medical centers, the Russian Interior Ministry, French car maker Renault, and others. Hospitals across Britain found themselves without access to computers or phones. Hospitals forced to cancel routine procedures. Emergency room services were scaled down. The U.K. Prime Minister Theresa May called this attack on hospitals absolutely disgusting. Europol has said that it is unprecedented in terms of the scale of the cyber attack that has taken place. Uh, the National Cyber Security Centre is working with all organisations here in the UK that have been affected. Microsoft says they released a security update for customers and they're asking that they go to their blog to download it. In a statement, a spokesman for Microsoft says, quote, those who are running Microsoft's free antivirus software or have Windows Update enabled are protected. Given the potential impact to customers and their businesses, Microsoft released updates for Windows XP, 8, and Windows Server 2003. The hackers have not claimed responsibility. The good news is it doesn't look like it's a nation state, but actually criminals out there that are doing this and the full extent of the damage is still yet to be known. That is in how much money was paid in ransom and how much data may have been lost from this attack. Liz? All right. It's pretty scary stuff. Brian Yates reporting live. Brian, thank you so much.